Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, now if you hear like slap the door of white noises, my window is open. And like, this rainbow flag. My porch is just flapping because of the wind, but we're going to be fighting the, the bosses in this game. So right now, we're at Town Center. So, the first one we're going to fight, it's this guy named Old School. I've said this guy a lot in my videos. So... Basically, if you don't know in this game, so basically, where he is, he's somewhere in the sewers, so you need to go over here, because he has, like, some secret, like, DJ place, and he has a disco zombie, but he has, like, bigger hair, and he drives, like, this disco ball thing, so, he has just, let me just kill these zombies for, like, coins, so, he's just... Hold on, let me straighten the camera really quick while I'm getting in the sewers. Okay, that should be fine enough. So, basically, there's this robot. He will not let you in. So, I, oh, actually, you guys have already seen this pretty much, but if you guys haven't, basically, yeah, how to get past this to get to that gate over there to get into old school's club. Um, basically, what you need to do, so yeah, you find this, you use the mind blower, and then you're driving this thing. Um, you can press down on left stick on Xbox to make it go faster. And then basically, you just walk up to this guy, and you blow him up. So, and then you just enter the gate. So, let's do it. Um, okay, yeah, so, this gate. Okay, we activate on that. It lets us in. And then, there's like these weird mirrors. Um, you could, as long as they're colored, you could break them. You could, as you can see, I can't break the black ones, but I can break these green ones. And that'll be something in the boss fight. Because there will, because, like, it shows you, like, a quick tutorial about the boss fight. Because then, um, later, pretty much a similar thing to that's gonna happen. So then you go over here, alright, I skipped the cutscene, sorry if you guys haven't seen that cutscene, and yeah, there he is, he's in his disco ball thing, and his name's Old School, so like, it's like, they're trying to be silly, it's like, like, instead of Old School, just, like, Olds, and then they put a space, and then Cool, instead of Old Space School. So basically, we just damage him, okay, checkpoint reached, so you can see, he's spinning those, these discs, and... Oh, so he just jumps, and then he sends shockwaves. Um, basically, he'll start spinning, and you need him to crash into one of these speakers once he's done. But, and also those bullets, as you saw, um, um, they, they lock onto you, and they can damage you. And then they make you dance for a second so, like, old school can get hits on you, so you don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, like... Just in case any of you guys are beginners of this game, yeah, this is just how to fight old school, and then I'll fight the other bosses. Um, oops. Okay, as you can see, he's doing his spin thing. Okay, we run out of the way, and then look. Crashes in. You shoot this button, and he crashes in. And then he's returning back, and this is the- this is a good time to deal- deal damage to him. Okay. So yeah, basically, you just deal the damage, and then he sends missiles. You can hide behind these, and the missiles will just crash there. Basically, you don't even need to shoot them. Oh yeah, now he shoots you using his lights, so be careful. Alright, um... Okay, he's doing his this thing. This time, we don't need to wait for him to crash his speaker. Well, we will after this thing he will do. So, he will be in the middle this time. But this time, he actually stands up like he was up there, as you saw. Um, and then, so those mirrors, as you saw before, that I shot, um, that, and, like, the color ones, well, break, and the black ones don't, he will start spitting those. And you have to make, like, like, if, example, um, so as you can see, he gets up. And yeah, look at this. So basically you have to break, and you could go through. And for some reason, all of these right here, they're just colored. So I can break all these, and you have to shoot him. 
So I break all these, and I can just sit here and shoot him. It's, it's strange, but this is a little tip if any of you beginners are out there. You can just break blocks like this just at this spot. You can stand here and shoot him all you want until he does a spin thing again, and then you have to make him crash into a speaker again. So, basically, yeah, for example, so, he's starting to do the, okay, and then we dodge. Alright, that's the next phase done. And he's halfway dead. There's a health bar on the top of the screen. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it. But, oh yeah, he's setting out the missiles again. And you can just shoot them. Yeah, so if you guys can't see his health from the top. Um, oh god! Oh, that electric slide through the- I remember, remember last episode when I was on the zombies team? Yeah, um, the electric slide. That's what it looks like getting picked up with that magnet thing from the electric slide. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I killed them twice, so I heal even more because of my upgrade. Or if I'm on low health and I get a kill, I heal. And I, I killed twice, so I heal even more. Oh, God, I should get away from these discs. Okay, he's gonna... Okay, checkpoint reached. And then he's just gonna do... This time, you don't even at all need for him to crash the speakers, because this is the final part. So we just quickly do a couple dodging first. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, boom. And eventually he'll get in the middle. Boom. Whoa! God. This is crazy. Uh. Boom. Okay, he's in the middle, so this time you actually don't get to sit in that spot like I showed, but I actually have a hilarious strat. Just follow the mirrors. And if they get too far away, you can just quickly do- It's so dumb, but I love it. Like, literally, I feel like I'm cheating. But listen, this is a strat for any of you beginners, if you guys want to know. Yeah, that's just a quick strat. So yeah, he basically, yeah. And then that's him dead. And then this is, and they start spinning up there. Boom, explodes. And then you go around and pick up all these tacos and coins. Like, and then, yeah, that's, hold on, let me clear my notifications. And just check my friends. And the, yeah, I muted my mic again because I'm talking to you viewers. But anyways, that's old school. That's the boss fight against him. Now let's do the other... So the other final zombie boss... Um, Hold on, let me turn my talk notes. So he's in Mount Steep from that one episode I showed you guys. Um, His name is Major Problem. He is a huge robot in, like, the hot cheese, as you saw, when I actually like, fell in. They're basically, he's a robot who destroyed the pipes and made all that hot cheese... He's trying to, um, so, quit to Giddy Park. Um, but yeah, he's trying to make it erupt so the whole world's just hot cheese. And he's, like, a huge robot with a ton of lights and, like, imps inside. But, yeah, and he's, like, you have to do a lot of parkour in that fight. So. Yeah. Alright, since now it's loaded, so basically we go over to here, we talk to this guy, and then we just go to Mount Steep. Um, yeah. And then like, yeah, the bonk choy inside that little train thing, he just drives us over to Mount Steep. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright. 
Anyways, if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Um, yeah, for some more stupid and fun content. Um, anyways, so basically, yeah, we get, <laughs> and yeah, and like literally, and also the other place on the zombie team, if you wonder what it is, it's also town center. So there's town center for both plants and zombies. It's, yeah, and obviously as you saw, there's <laughs> that other place. So like, there's literally tacos, marshmallows, and sheriff badges. And those are the only collectibles from all four places because there's also town center for zombies. So there's also tacos. <laughs> Um, um, oh. This is one of the elite guys you fight for the medals. His name is Digwig. And he just, he, he goes invincible sometimes. I already have the medal, so I'm not gonna bother him. So basically, you just go, so manager problem, where he is. Hold on. Sneak attack! Alright. Where? Oh, I think I, oh. Scientist! Alright. But anyways, major problem. His place, it's over here. Um. Alright, so basically, like I showed before, so wait, um, yeah, you need to, like, you use the harmonica with the mouse slides. Let me kill these guys really quick. Just because we don't want these flying idiots. No, go away. <laughs> okay, anyways. But, yeah, you play the harmonica. Look at the cheese. Fire the mouse flies. And on Xbox, how to fire them when you're playing the harmonica. Just press Y on Xbox. Okay, and then they eat the moldy cheese. And how to get over there. So, let's run this hot cheese. Um, yeah, platforms are coming up. So... Uh, whoa. Alright. So, yeah, you do some parkour over. Um, whoa. Okay. Alright. Mm. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, gee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just do some parkour and skip this cutscene. And then, yeah, you just, you take this path, because, yeah, there's paths always in boxes. Um. Okay. Wee! <laughs> I used a double jump to delay the wee. So just like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh. And yeah, once again, more parkour. When you step on these, they sink, but they will come back up. So you gotta be careful. Cause like, really quick, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, they sink. Alright. Um, we killed this. You have to kill this minor problem. And then, okay, and then... It's just this cutscene where they're falling in, and major problems spawned in. But, that's major problem. Okay, you have to shoot the lights that are on, um, in order to damage him. And he fires a ton of missiles, so be careful. Be careful of him. What, I can't... And then there's also some minor problems as well. Um... I can't snipe for some reason. Um, okay, finally I can snipe. Okay. Now, yeah, you just destroy his lights. Okay, so, yeah, his light, all of his lights are off. He just sinks down, and all this hot cheese, it's gonna be rising, so you take, so parkour will appear, so, like, parkour. So, yeah, basically, the, the cheese will be rising. What the? What the? What the? No! No! What the? What? What? I don't... Why? Okay, but yeah, don't step in the cheese. I'm on one health. That was...
was weird. I don't know why. I was just... Okay, don't ask what that was. I was on one health, jeez. Yeah, all that cheese is rising. And yeah. So basically, for a second, you pause here. And yeah, you can see the cheese is rising, but more platforms will appear, and it'll save me. Um, yeah, these minor problems, we can get them out of our way, so that way they don't annoy us. Well, my snipe button was stuck. Like, it was stuck in sniping mode. It was weird. That's why I fell in. So, ignore that. At least we made it. So, this is phase two. Yeah, you can ignore that. Um, okay, phase two. So, he's gonna appear somewhere. In phase three, the cheese is, like, up there. Like, not entirely outside. Because his plan, major problem, his plan is to, like, make the cheese rise outside. Um, jeez, his missiles are so deadly. Oh, gosh. So he, when he moves his claw weirdly, he does this fire move, and you hide behind his column. Okay, he's done using the fire. Yeah. Ignore that. Before. It was like, my snipe button was stuck in, and I was so confused, and I accidentally... Went in the cheese, and I survived on one health. So, ah, jeez. So, okay, he's trying to drill me with his little drill. Um, ah, Jesus, can you s Yeah, he does it a couple times. Alright, he stopped. Really, my controller, it's a little bit weird, because it, like, for some reason just delays my snipe button and sometimes my, my attack button, so, yeah, yeah, we don't talk about earlier, yeah, we won't talk about when I just fell in because the stupid snipe button was stuck. Okay. Oh my god, can you minor problems get out? Alright. Checkpoint reach. So, he's gonna rise the cheese again. <laughs> I didn't even mean to click that. Alright, we made it. Okay, this is the last phase. Because the cheese, it's not going to be entirely out. Because, like, he's trying to make the cheese just erupt everywhere outside. So everything just, is now he's going to be a hot cheese. So what happens here? I like being on this platform. So, yeah, he just drills this apart. So first he drills that side. And then next he drills that side. And then, yeah, everything just breaks apart. And then he'll he'll appear in the middle once these spread out. And there's also platforms that'll pop up over there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And be sure your controller isn't stupid like mine, just as you saw in the first phase. If you even use a controller, like, if you use PC, then good. Well, it's just, controller's still pretty fun, like Xbox, PlayStation. Alright, oh, okay, when you, yeah, once again, so, yeah, that's a little tip if you guys ever play this game. When he moves his claw like that... Um, yeah, then he does fire. So you have to run around in a circle. Okay, so he's not burning, but I'm gonna return back over here. Um. Um. Alright. Um, okay. Um, oh. Okay, now, when he goes under, we need to take out these minor problem guys, so he can come back up. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, these, these missiles! He's gonna go over here, because I have a couple more hits left to do, because the reason why he's here is because he's in position to rise the cheese outside, so that's why. But then, he realizes, he made his mistake! He's dead! Alright, got him. And then, yeah, he just, <laughs> for a second, he's about to sink, but then he comes up, and then, all of his lights will just break, and then he will sink. Yeah. And then, yep, he sinks. He sinks to his death. And that's a bunch of coins granted. All right. And then, it just, for a second, takes a while, but then it'll say, major problem defeated. Okay, anyway, since those are both of the zombie bosses done, time to show you guys the two plant bosses. <clears throat> Alright, so, we just go back to Giddy Park. And then, yeah, and then I'll, and we'll just, this time, just go to zombies. My favorite zombie is 80s action hero, so, we're gonna play as 80s action hero. The first boss I'm gonna show, his name is Dreadwood, he's like a big tree, um, and apparently he has one eye, um, um, so, yeah, since we're back here, respawn, um, so, and then we swap, and then, yeah, we swap teams, and then now we pick 80s action hero, um, and then, yeah, this time we take a submarine, <sighs> So, um, yeah, it's like these loading screens, if you just feel sort of like delay, don't worry, because it's just loading. Anyways, so. <laughs> There's this funny part with this glitch I like to do. So, as you saw last time when I went here, um, I summoned those dread root things when I stepped on the swamp stuff. 
So, there's this glitch where you just fly in the air, and hopefully, if I can trigger that glitch, I can just... Oh no, I, I accidentally, I, pr I only pressed, like, <laughs> but it's like, since the cooldown on the dynamite, it's really quick. So we can just wait for it again. Darn it! Okay, it doesn't matter, though. We can just, <laughs> we can just ignore all of them. And then, yeah, yada, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that was amazing. We can take out all these wildflowers. Alright. And we just go over here, and then we play the boombox. And then it puts the forest to sleep. Um, so, normally, um, so... Normally those hearts would have been covered by roots, but now, um, the roots are gone since I put the boombox, so we shoot the heart, and then now, um, and then we just go over to here, and then open up the gate, and then, yeah, and then we just, so basically, you might be wondering, like, in a sec, so, you might be thinking, like, what is this wind that's keeping you back? It's actually, since Dreadwood is asleep, it's him snoring. He's off in the distance. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's literally... And then, yeah, you just go down into here. Um, yeah. And this video, it is gonna be long. So, it might not be too long, but it'll be a little bit. So, get your popcorn if you guys have any popcorn. So, yeah. <laughs> yep, and then we just break that heart. And then it's just him waking up as the cutscene. And you have to shoot him in the eye because he'll take no damage if you try to shoot his, like, like, here and stuff. Oh, <laughs> I already, so he felt... He, no, well, he didn't fall asleep. It says he's dizzy for some reason. But when he's dizzy, you have to break all these hearts. Um. Um, oh yeah. Okay, normally, I don't mind. I take the damage, but you can just hide behind here. And you can block that huge laser attack. And then I got him down again. Because, <laughs> literally, Rocket Ride is such a powerful ability. Okay, so he has his branches out, and he's spinning them, and you have to jump. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, my God! No! No! Oh, my God! Okay, wait, one more heart, one more heart. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's definitely over here. Alright. Oh yeah, this time he tries to blow you off, so you need to hide behind here. So, he'll just try to blow you off. And it's not a big deal, there's just gonna be a lot of dread roots down there, and you just need to use the jump pad thing up. Wow, he's one- he's already in his spin thing. His second spin thing. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just gonna... Okay, I don't like this acorn because he's really annoying and he constantly shoots you. So at least kill the acorn and then, then you can focus on the hearts. Because wildflowers and normal weeds, they aren't big deals. Oh yeah, that's right, he's gonna- oh, No, wait. Oh, that was close. <coughs> wow, he's already in his third spin ability. Oh 
Oh my freaking! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was just trying to get this dude. That was so close. Okay, now this time it's an acorn and a pea shooter. So. Um. Okay, this time. Okay, do not focus on the plants when you do that. Just focus on him and deal all the damage you can. Let's go. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Similar thing with, like, that Baron Von Bass thing. Oh, yeah, he just throws up marshmallows really quick. And, like, you have to find- you have to rescue this dummy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, similar thing with that Baron Von Bass quest I showed you guys. Yeah, like, when you didn't focus on the zombies, you only focused on Baron Von Bass. This might be my longest video I've ever posted. <laughs> So, um, yeah, now, it just shows a cutscene where, um, so yeah, basically, he's like, yes, you've rescued dummy. Oh, wait, I have enough marshmallows, let's really quick trade with the guy. And then we can, yeah, um, we get all this coins, and now we fight the last boss, and I love Nightcaps, but sadly we have to do this one. Um, her name is Blightcap. She's a blue Nightcap that's giant. She's a really hard boss. She's so strong. But, but I've, I've beaten her so much. So, I'm used to, like, some moves and stuff. When, when you're fighting her, I know a strat. So this is zombie called Electric Slide. You should, when you're fighting her, you should be her because when Blightcap, there's apparently a part where she sneezes and then she's invincible and you have to get trash in this launcher. Um, and basically you can just be, you can go invincible as Electric Slide and then just ignore all the plants and then once your invincibility runs out, you can grab the garbage and just get past. My friend said that's a terrible reason to be her and, like, in the Black Cat boss fight, and I'm like, that's not nice. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, this is my longest video ever. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, in town center, this is the, this, it's the pressure pier place, as you guys saw before this time. And this time it's actually night at the town center on zombies, so, let's get, oops, did not mean to do that. Blight kept the, the gate to her? It's so far away from spawn, though, that's what I don't like. It's so freaking far. So, normally, this is the gate to old school, but it's closed. Yeah, it's just... And there's, like, a lot of blue shrooms everywhere. And, yeah, as you guys can see. Um, geez. My controller, it's being weird again. Just like as you saw against Major Problem, but it's okay, though. <clears throat> and we can just ignore all these guys. Oh yeah, this is a nightcap. I have to take them out because then they will just attack me sadly while in the middle of doing something. So I have to take out the nightcap for hypno shrooms, but hey, at least I can respawn, right? Because you can respawn in this game, so I think we're good. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, I used to hurt you guys for now. But it's okay, you guys can respawn. Because in this game you can respawn. Oh yeah, so you fire a stink bomb. 
<laughs> and then, and then you just go to these shrooms. And now, you can go in and fight White Cap. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I touch on the shrooms, and when you touch them, they like do a weird thing to you. Okay, anyways, enter in. The boss. Okay, um, anyway. And yeah. We just. And then we fire a stink bomb, and we try to break these ones, but this time we just realized we can't take them out. So we have to put garbage in the launcher, so, um, we can stink up the, we can make the stink bomb even more stinkier. Which, yeah. And then eventually Blight Cap can spawn in, so. We put this in, and then it takes a while to get in. And apparently you have, to, you have to stick nearby so your own stench can get added to it. It's it's very weird, but yeah. Um, and yeah, basically it's just adding your own stench to this. That's just a stupid reason to be close, to be honest. Okay, wait, let me kill. Okay, since now that's done, you just fire the stink bomb over here and then it works uh, I was gonna say what was the thing all. but then we can just skip this cutscene um yeah okay there she is Oh jeez, that's her fire, like, this, like, firewall. Oh yeah, she shoots the, the, the top of mushrooms at you. Can you stop sending those firewalls at me? Oh no! Oh my god, can you please stop? Oh my god! Okay, okay, um... So yeah, she just- so she sneezes, and she can't take damage, so you have to put garbage in your launcher. So, as you can see. So yeah. Basically, she can't take damage, and if she looks at you, she sets you on fire. But, I don't care, though. Alright. Stay away! Oh my god. Okay, yes, white cap, you see me, you see me. <coughs> oh yeah, so she works back, and I have to hide in this corner until she doesn't see where I am. Hey, that's not fair! That's not fair! You can't go back here, you know. I can't damage you. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, I can fire this at her. Alright, I shot it at her. Oh my god. Alright, I need to heal. Oh my god. Oh. So that thing she sent in the air, it exploded. Doom shrooms are everywhere, so- Ah! Doom shrooms! So yeah, they try to blow you up. Oh my god. Ha ha ha! Oh yeah, now she's gonna sneeze again. Alright. Now that I- now that I'm pretty much almost fully healed, time to go out and get all the trash. This is- it's only happens twice 
And you have to get the trash in. So, yeah, we're good. So, this is like the last time we only need to do this. It's really hard, I will say, though. It's really annoying and hard. Alright. Go away. <laughs> Can you, can you two just go away, please? Oh my god. Thank you! Okay, okay, Black Cat returns to her patrol, so she won't bother us. She doesn't even bother at all. Okay, and then we shoot at her again. And then no more trash. This is just the battle. We just fight. No, you tricked me. Okay, she's almost dead. Oh no, but Doom Shrooms. She's sending out Doom Shrooms. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this is crazy. Oh wait, yes, she's dead, she's dead! Yes! Let's go, okay. <laughs> when I just realized, like, my rocket ride was ready, I was like, YOU ARE DEAD! Anyways, guys, that's, that's a gameplay against fighting all the bosses. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please hit the like button. Hopefully my tips help you guys if you guys are beginners in this game. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. Um, I will see you guys... I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.